Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Journey of an Average Gamer, Final Fantasy VII Edition. In this 25th episode, we have the high win now. So now we're going to be able to get a lot of our side quest missions done. And this is what we're going to do in preparations to for the next video and also to do some side missions. So we're going to first go to Cosmo Canyon and we're going to have access to the back room in the last store all the way to the right. And you're going to see a green full cure materia. Grab that. Then you're going to go next door to Nibelheim and you're going to go on Tiffa's piano. And remember that uh, you jammed on it when we uh, previously went as Cloud. When Tiffa looks in her piano this time, there's actually going to be a elemental materia. After that, we're going to go next door to that to Rocket Town and we're going to grab the guard source and the uh, fourth bracelet. From there, we're going to go to the Chocobo Sage. Now, that Chocobo Sage is going to uh, be where we get the information on how to breed a gold Chocobo or special Chocobos. So we're going to talk to him for a minute. Also, if you talk to the green Chocobo that he has in the pen, you'll also get an enemy skill materia. So if you want to, while you're there, you can also get you some silk screens as well. Then we're going to go to the Chocobo Ranch. Now, if you go to the front of the Chocobo Ranch, there should also be a Chocobo lore materia right there on the floor. Also, there's going to be, a, uh, you want to buy yourself some Mimic Greens. And you want to buy some Mimic Greens for later on in the, in the video when we go to Medeal. Also, talk to the old man in that Chocobo farm to rent six stables. So that way you have somewhere to house your Chocobos when we breed them. So in order for you to rent the six, you're actually going to have to go the long way by renting the six and in the conversation, then talking to him again, rent the next one and you're going to have to do that six times so that can be the headache there next we're going to go to cactar island and we're going to morph the cactar into a tetra elemental so if you want to get that accessory that protects you from all the elemental status ailments so that material or that uh excuse me that piece of equipment is going to be very handy that you want to put into your inventory next we're going to go to goblin island and from Goblin Island, we're going to get the enemy skill Goblin Punch. Also, we're going to steal the Zeo Nut. Now, the Zeo Nut is important for later on when it comes to the breeding process. After that, we're going to progress the story by going to Medeal. So we're going to go into the, every store. And every store, there's going to be a same woman losing her mind because the world's coming to an end. You want to talk to her in every shop because when you come back, she's going to sell you everything that she has. Also, you see that little silver chocobo that's following her? That's who the Mimic Greens are for. If you give that Chocobo a Mimic Green, he's going to give you a Materia. So make sure that before you leave the Chocobo Ranch, you get yourself at least one Mimic Green. And you select the option, tickle it behind his ear, and he'll give you the Materia. Also, after that, this is going to be the very important part that you're going to want to save. We're going to go actually back to Mount Corral with the Corral Town, through the Corral Town. And we're going to go where we got Eris's first double Materia Growth Weapon. We're going to go on that roller coaster ride back to that fat that back to that reactor that we passed that had no story relevance. Now, before you go to that reactor, you want to make sure you save the game while you're on the top of the little roller coaster. And the reason why you're going to want to save that game there is because we're going to be getting our first huge materia. Now, this is very, very important. So we want to get all of our huge materials. So once you save there and then you go to the story mission inside the reactor, you're going to be on a train ride and you're going to have to catch up with the next train. And what you're going to want to do is you want to stop the train before it plows into Mount Corral. So that's very important. So if you accidentally plow through it, you can just re-upload your save and then redo that. After that, we're actually going to advance. Oh, yeah. Before we leave Corral, you're going to talk to the little boy. He's going to give you the ultimate material also. If you talk to the woman in the green hat, you'll get Barrett's level 4 catastrophe. So that's his level 4 limit break. So before you leave Corral, make sure you get that. After that, we're going to do our last Fort Condor battle. This is actually part of the storyline, so you can't avoid this. Once you fight in the final conflict, what you're going to want to do is to... You want to let the enemy get up into the base so you can virtually fight him. You want to fight that enemy commander because that enemy commander has a very good drop that we're going to get. So you can add that to your inventory so you can have uh, complete the set of having everything. So after you defeat the commander, you're going to go outside to look at the phoenix and you're going to get the phoenix materia. So that's going to be the summon materia. So make sure that 
you get that. And after you beat the Phoenix material, when you go inside and you talk to the commander, the commander is going to tell you, go talk to his father. When you talk to his father, he's going to give you the second huge material. So you have two pieces of huge material in this video. In the later videos, we're going to get the other two huge pieces of huge material. But in this video, we're going to get two. After that, you're going to go to uh, fight Medeal. And if you want to get the curse ring from stealing it from when you fight weapon, you use steel to steal the curse ring from weapon so guys i hope you enjoy this 25th episode of final fantasy 7 
Thank you.